Now, yesterday it was falling chain. No, now, now I am just picked up a problem, rising chain, and also will uh, uh, bring the energy idea into the picture. So this part of chain will be at rest. Here I applied a force. So that this uh, I'll, P momentum, you'll get confused. I'll write F naught. This the force is what I applied it. Now let Y length of the chain be above the ground. Then I'm going to lift it up with a constant speed v uh, v naught this is also given let's get into the problem now uh, first of all what is this force i want this force w what are the things that will act how to calculate force any thrust force will act uh, in what direction thrust force so now again immediately the thrust force will come so what you should do you should take help of the link no so this is a link which is at rest which will about to enter the vertical part of chain. So what will happen to the vertical part of chain as the Y length increases, the mass of system increases, no? So now what is the system? The vertical part of a chain is a system. So always you should be better positioned to define what is the system here. Now we are not bothered about the chain lying on the ground, the chain that is being lifted. So this is a system. So it is having a velocity V. So this link will enter into the system now so the mass is getting added up to system the mass which is getting added up what is the state of it rest so get into the problem so this s is a system so here first i think we do like this velocity of the p this is the link vp equal to vp minus vs what is vs s is the system here this velocity is what i have to find out velocity of point p zero that of this plus v naught in what action the velocity of the point P when it's getting added to system downward. <coughs> so this is what VR will write it, no? Show that we are in this direction. And now if the mass of system increases, what action the thrust force should act in the direction of VR? So here is what the thrust force. Agreed all of you? There's a method what we followed. Now, now, what is the total force I should apply? F naught plus weight of the vertical part of the chain. How much? Lambda GY plus thrust force. How to calculate thrust force? What is the basic formula? There's a chain at rest on the ground. How to calculate thrust force? That should be equal to VR into dm by dt. dm what you can write lambda into dy by dt. And VR equal to V naught. dy by dt. dy by dt should be V naught. So lambda V naught square. This is the external force. Huh? External force acting on chain. Hmm. Now, now, look at this force constant or variable. It's a variable, no? So let's do one thing. Work done by external force in lifting the chain from initial to, to this particular position. So it will apply constant or variable force. E will apply a variable force. Look at this lambda gy. variable force then it will do work then why will uh, what is the displacement so this end is what is holding you know this end of the chain first it'll, it'll hold this link and it'll start rising up what is the displacement y so you apply constant or variable force a variable force that's the one thing then what happened all that what all it did work a part of it is used to rise the potential energy of the chain gravitational potential energy because center of mass of the chain got <coughs> lifted up, no? So increase in gravitational potential of vertical part of the chain. This is the one thing. Next again, kinetic energy of the chain. There'll be some mechanical energy will be lost. What all it did work, no? a part of it converted into heat. Why do that heat will come? See, all of you have seen chain. These are the links, no? 
So when you start lifting up, what when one link will collide with other link, and look at this particular link, how they should move? They should move like this, no? The link is attached. After some time, what when this chain will be here. So the link what when will rotate like this. So when they are rotating, so definitely one link will collide with other link. I think you will get some sound, no? Dug 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 something or uh, any other sound you can generate. <laughs> You try to uh, check that one. Any chain available no? for suitcase lockers within, you know, that chain you keep like this. Try to lift it. No? You get some sound, some umming sound, what we call. Why that sound? That is nothing but the loss in mechanical energy will convert it into a yes, sound energy, and a part of it will also be heat. So therefore, there is some sound energy generated means there must be some loss in mechanical. That loss in mechanical energy is asking. Got the idea, no? So work done by exchange agent, we'll write it here. Should be equal to increase in potential G of increase in gravitational potential G of chain. Plus kinetic energy of chain plus loss in mechanical energy. What, how to calculate work done by exchange agent? So this integral of F D naught increase in gravitational potential. D. So look at this, what is the mass of vertical part of chain lambda y g y by 2. Where center of mass is will be at a distance y by 2 kinetic energy of the chain. What is the mass of the chain? Lambda y to b naught square. This is what? Delta e. Substitute this, solve it, you'll get expression for delta v. Where do this energy? In the form of sound and heat. Why do sound will come? when links collide so they say humming sound like a gasping sound they call technically so this now will integrate here f naught is what lambda gy So this will be lambda by v naught square by 2. This is what loss in mechanical energy. Can you calculate this? It's only integration. No? I'll, I'll go to the next idea again. No? I'll, I'll give the answer. Verify it here. So delta E, this should be equal to lambda v naught square y by 2. In the form of sound and heat when the links collide. So therefore, I think when we are working some problems with the variable mass concept, we have to be very careful about the some work done, some some heat will be generated, some energy will be lost because the thrust force will come into picture here. Now take the next one. Th this you can do it. I'll take the read the question. A railroad of a railroad car of length L and mass have not when empty is moving.